Well, hello guys and YouTubers. It's a cold December morning, but that needn't put us off reviewing one of these excellent Airfix starter kits. I say excellent because all the mainstream kit manufacturers, I guess it's Airfix and Revel, the only two that I know of anyway, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but who provide starter sets for beginners with a paintbrush and glue and some paint. So you can get glue in your hair, paint on your mother's carpet, actually no you better not do that, better definitely not get paint on your mother's carpet. And like I say, a little paintbrush. Uh, this is the excellent Airfix, Airfix Dust Boat kit of the German 1400 scale U-boat Type 7C. So I guess Airfix here is sort of cap capitalising on the popularity of the 1981 film Dust Boat, which was directed by Wolfgang Peterson. And originally before that, it, it was a novel by uh, Lothar Buchheim from about 1973, I think. Um, and it's basically, it was all based on the U-boat U-96, which was one of like the German U-boat aces, if you like. Um, although it wasn't so ace for the merchant ships that it torpedoed and uh, all the lives lost. But uh, I think what's not really known by a lot of people is that uh, it was the Atlantic War, or the U-boat war, which nearly did for did for Britain in the Second World War. It was more, more even more critical most than the Battle of Britain. I think at one stage we literally had only two weeks' food left because so many merchant ships were going down. Um, but that's a slightly different subject. I'm not a history expert, and I don't <coughs> pertain to be at the moment. Uh, but as you can see in the dramatic artwork here. Um, that's uh, probably one of the later convoys, heavily, which were heavily guarded by that time, or, or maybe they were probably pretty heavily guarded earlier on with destroyers and uh, anti-submarine warfare, air, sorry, anti-submarine warfare aircraft. But I think initially on, because the U-boat losses were quite low, the wolf packs were quite large, but then later on they took horrendous losses. I mean, the losses of the German crews on these is, is also a tragedy. You know, war is not just one-sided. Tragedies on both sides. Um, not sure how many how many sailors actually died, but all I know is that that most of the boats most of the boats that went out into the Atlantic towards the end of the war hardly any of them came back. I mean, in the film, I won't spoil the ending for those of you who've not seen it, but uh, you'll get the picture there. Great film, by the way. Um, so I've got the excellent, very clear illustrations on the back from Airfix there. The actual size of the boat is quite literally, it's that size. And that's the size of it. So it's a tiny kit. It's a tiny kit. It is for skill level one. Actually, you probably can't see that there. Um, so it's skill level one. So it is for beginners, obviously, with... All these things but it's also for other modelers as well so like I could say great artwork quite dramatic standard red grab your eyes airfix color for their boxes let's have a look inside back in a second right I'm back now so we've opened up the box a little tricky I've always we seem to tear airfix boxes. I don't think they're the best boxes going airfix, but at least it was secure in there. It was properly secure so the model wouldn't have fallen out. But I uh, always seem to damage the airfix boxes. But um, inside we've just basically got one cellophane, it's not polythene, it's like a cellophane bag with the sprues. There's even a little stand with the kit as well. Airfix Club leaflet free, and what we've got here are some very tiny, very tiny instructions. I hope you can see those there. Let me move my I don't think that's in focus. No, I think that you, know, you get an idea there. 
at this camera. It's not the best camera in the world. Um, so got the little swordfish symbols and the flags, the German naval flag. The lettering there just basically you can put it on the stand if you like, although I don't think I'm going to use the stand and rather make a diorama. The stand looks a bit sort of ersatz um, antique if you like. But, uh, instruction leaflet. This is a new tooling anyway. It's a new tool there fix, so I've got clear clear instructions. Um, the amount of parts we've got. Not that many parts actually. Probably only about 30 parts in this kit. Probably not even that. Maybe I should count them. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got one, two, that's that's the stand. Three, actually, three parts to the stand. Or four. So four parts there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, do you know what? I'm not going to count them. If I don't know it, I don't know it. Um, but it, there's very few parts anyway for it. Um, I'll open up the, the bag here. Got some very clear sprues, some lovely detail on the deck, on the U-boat deck there, it's very fine. That's actually very nice that. It's a nice it's a crisp moulded kit, very clear, very defined. In fact, the, the boat itself is actually a little longer than I thought it was. I thought it was a much smaller model, which is which is good for me. <laughs> Means I don't have to torture my eyes on it. So that's basically your first your first sprue there. Then you've got the other ancillary parts with your stand. Like I say, not many parts. I think I I knew someone had built one of these, and he found that the the only tricky part was uh, around the propellers and the propeller shafts. On the U-boat itself. So that's that. Then the little, basically that's the conning tower sprues. You can see the conning towers there. Also very nice, just nicely made. There are beautiful little moulds on this. So you could really get, you could go to town on this kit. Really give it, give it some justice. You know. So there it is really, I'll show you that one once more. Like I say, you go to town in this kit, practice your, uh, this would be good for weathering skills in the naval sense, because these boats were out in all weathers, the most horrendous weathers you could possibly imagine. I didn't envy those crews whatsoever. They're brave men, even though they were on the other side. Okay, well that's my little mini review. Nothing spectacular, but I do recommend this kit. Be nice to see a few more built and uh, a few more dioramas and see what kind of standards people can achieve with the kit. Uh, there we are, a cracking little starter set from Airfix. Thanks very much for listening, guys. More videos coming soon.